here is my Asana account. And you can see there are two projects in here, one engineering project plan and a customer feedback board. Both of them have tasks. And let's say I want to import both of them into Notion. It is the Notion workspace and I can access the Asana importer in two main ways. The first way is via settings and members and then import and then this is and there is Asana as one of the options here. The second path is to create a new page or on a any page that you have in your Notion workspace you can type slash Asana and here you can see a few options. There is the import Asana that will open up the same import menu that will be open from settings and members. There is embeds, that is just a way to embed Asana boards into a Notion page. And then there is a synced database that is keeping the tasks from Asana into Notion in sync while Asana remains the source of truth. So that's not an import, but it's a synced database that has a two-way sync across tools. Although this feature is still under development and I recorded a video about it, in particular focusing on Jira in the past. So today we are focusing specifically on the import. So let's click on this. And in here you can see the first step in the import process is to select the Asana workspace. In my case, that is Simo Private that I want to have. And then I can choose what projects to import, either all of them or just a few of them. So in this case, if I want to select all of them, I will check the box into the workspace. Otherwise, I can just select the projects that I want to import. And next up, I will choose a team space. So this is in Notion, where do you want to import these projects? So in here, I'm going to select private. And there is a toggle as well for completed tasks. If I want to import them, I will keep this toggled on. Otherwise, I will toggle it off. In my case, I want to import completed tasks as well. So I'm going to keep it on. Then I will select next. And here I can select the properties that I want to import. Either I can import all the properties that Notion detects by itself, or I can customize the properties that I want to import from here. Although when I check this option, you can see that I still can't uncheck properties here. So it is not clear to me why that's the case, and it might be a bug currently. Now I'm going to select all properties, and down here there is also an option to import sections as status. So the section by default is a select property, but if I want to turn it into a status, I can toggle this on, and you can see that now it will be mapped as a status property in Notion, whereas completed will be a checkbox. That's what I want in my case, so I'm going to keep this like this. Then I will select import. Depending on how much data you are importing, this will take a few minutes. And after about a minute in my case, that's what I see now. I can see the engineering project plan was imported and the customer feedback was imported as well. So I will view imported projects. And now I can see them here under projects. And I'll have customer feedback, engineering project plan. And I can open the project page and see that there is already automatically a view of the tasks for this project. So you can see that is an intelligent way that Notion natively does without you having to set up any view that creates a project database for you, imports the projects from Asana automatically, and also creates a linked database view inside of each project that is pre-filtered for that project. So all of this is done in the background and this can really save a ton of time if you are transitioning from Asana into Notion for example, and you need to import lots of past data. So it can be very useful. And now I can navigate through the projects normally. You can see the people properties were turned into a user property in Notion automatically. Of course, since that's a database, I can always go ahead and edit properties. I can delete properties by clicking on them and selecting delete. I can add properties and also show other ones like this. There are also some predefined views that were created in the import process. For example, a timeline view of the projects. In this case, they are not displayed because there is no date. But if I set the date on this one, then it will show up here. And I can also change the duration. I can drag and drop it around in the timeline. And as per usual, I can open it to see all the details inside. 
And you can also see that the importer automatically created a page that is called import September 6th logs, where I can see how many projects were imported, how many tasks, and any debugging information. In this case, there is not much data because the import was successful. So I only import two projects with a few tasks. But if you encounter any issues, then here you have that log information that allows you to troubleshoot rather quickly with the Notion support team by providing the information to them, such as the workspace ID and the request ID that is likely to keep track of the API request to see all the details in the backend of what happened if there are any mistakes. And that concludes the overview of the improved importer from Asana into Notion that turns project boards into a project database and specific projects in that database with the views of tasks. If you have questions or any thoughts about this, leave them in the comments below the video. You will find relevant links in the description of the video if you want to learn more about importing Asana into Notion as well as similar resources that I've created in the past. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.